New tonight, big changes are coming to a portion of Anderson Mill Road. It's become a busy thoroughfare here in North Austin. CBS House's Courtney Shawman is live along Anderson Mill right now with the three changes Council Member Jimmy Flanagan promises to make in the area. Courtney? Well, Council Member Flanagan and the Transportation Department plan to unveil these proposed changes to Anderson Mill during a public open house meeting tomorrow morning. The updates will span from where we are right here at 183 down to Spicewood Parkway. The city is proposing adding sidewalks in some places, fixing drainage issues and just making the road safer. It's no question Anderson Mill is one of many Austin roads dealing with the growing pains of an exploding population. A lot of traffic, a lot of cars, both ways. That's why City Council member Jimmy Flanagan is announcing solutions for what he calls a dangerous and congested roadway. Trey Eskew lives on Anderson Mill. I see the problems uh, that he's talking about and uh, it would be nice to improve on those things if we can. You don't want to be the, the person that's in the wreck uh, or causing a wreck. City leaders say Anderson Mill has a history of crashes and safety improvements are needed. As far as crashes, uh, there's quite a few crashes uh, closer to 183. This deadly crash in 2016 happened right at 183 in Anderson Mill. A man in his 30s died. Also on the list to be fixed are sidewalks. Anderson Mill is missing them in some places. And you'll see people walking in the grass or walking in the ditch, uh, kids, uh, so that's not real safe. And finally, drainage. It's an issue those who live nearby say needs to be fixed. The water will rise. The ditches are, are full, uh, even when it doesn't rain that much. Uh, the open house will be held tomorrow morning, Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon at the Hope Presbyterian Church. That's right here on Anderson Mill. It will be open to the public who can then give the city some feedback based on the plans they present. Reporting live tonight, Courtney Shoneman, CBS Austin News.